Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we have the top 10 worst airlines in the world. Air travel is the most preferred way to travel, but some of the airlines that made it on this list make air travel look absolutely horrific. Coming in at number 10, we have Vueling Airlines. Vueling Airlines is a low-cost carrier based in Spain. Many hubs across the world, and some of them being Barcelona, Pratt Airport, and Leonardo Airport in Rome, Italy. It is the largest airline in Spain, measured by fleet size and number of destinations. Vueling serves over 100 destinations in Africa, Asia, Europe, and the Middle East. In the year 2015, the airline carried more than 24 million passengers with a load factor of 81%. The airline was founded February 10, 2004. Some of the reasons why this airline is on this list is a on-time performance of 60%, a quality service of 75%, Bad communication, disorganized service, and frequent flight changes and cancellations are common issues with this airline. Coming in at number 9, we have Aerolinas Argentinas, which was formerly known as Aerolinas Argentinas SA, is Argentina's largest airline and the country's flag carrier. The airline was created in 1949 from the merger of four different companies and started operations in December 1950. The company has been run by the Argentine government since the late 2008, when the country regained control of the airline after it was taken over from the Spanish owners. As of December 2014, Aerolinas Argentinas was state-owned. It has its headquarters in Buenos Aires. SkyTeam membership was achieved in the late 2012s, and the airline's cargo division became a member of the Sky Team Cargo in November 2013. With an on-time performance of 80% and a quality service of 81%, this airline makes it to the number 9 spot. Coming in at number 8, we have Transavia Airlines. Transavia Airlines is a Dutch low-cost airline and a wholly owned subsidiary of KLM and therefore is part of the Air France KLM Group. Its main operating base is in Amsterdam Schiphol Airport, and it was founded in 1965 when it commenced operations in November 17, 1966. It has a fleet size of 42 aircrafts, which is excluding the Transavia France Group, and destinations of up to 88 locations. It has an on-time performance of 62% and a quality service of 74%. But do not be fooled. Reviewers found that flights are not always low on cost and do not offer complimentary food or drinks. Many complaints about this airline are saying that the service was very poor. Yet if you decide the sacrifice for cheap, it does offer flights into Europe for as low as 25 euros. Coming in at number 7, we have Lada Airlines. Lada Airlines is an Austrian low-cost airline based in Concord Business Park near Vienna, Austria. It has been a subsidiary of Ryanair since 2018. Former Formula One world champion Niki Lada bought the airline in 2016. The airline was originally founded in 2004 as Amria Air and it commenced operations March 25, 2018 as Lada Motion. It has a fleet size of 33 aircrafts and 38 destinations across the world. The reason this airline is on the list is because it has an on-time performance of 51%, a quality service of 74%. Many reviewers that have flown on this airline are saying this airline is not worthy to fly, and many remarks such as, we asked the staff to clean it and they said we had to clean it ourselves after they found trash in the seat in front of them. Another was told to quit pressing the service button because it got really annoying, making this number 7 on the list. Coming in at number 6, we have Norwegian Air Shuttle, which is also known as Norwegian Air. Norwegian is a low-cost airline that is based in Norway and is Norway's largest airline. In February 2021, the airline only had 8 aircrafts flying across all of Norway. 
due to COVID-19, they have had to cancel all of their flights between Europe and the United States. The airline was founded January 22, 1993, and before they shrunk their fleet down, they had 64 aircrafts and 104 destinations across the world. Coming in at number 5, we have Ryanair. Ryanair is a Irish low-cost airline that was founded in 1984. Its primary headquarters are in Dublin. With a primary operational base out of Dublin and London Stansted Airport. In 2016, Ryanair was the largest European budget airline by scheduled passengers flown and carried more international passengers than any other airline. Ryanair has an on time performance of 65%. The reason Ryanair is on this list is because of its claim processing, also known as customer service which comes to 35%. It is pretty hard to beat the airline's often absurdly low prices, but be warned, the company charges you for anything extra, including carry-on luggage and the privilege of sitting with loved ones. Coming in at number 4, we have Korean Air. Korean Air is the flag carrier airline for South Korea and was founded in 1969. It flies to 124 destinations in more than 43 different countries. The family-run company made headlines a while back when two of the CEO's daughters resigned, following several embarrassing incidents and accusations that the family used the airline's planes to get out of paying taxes on luxury goods. Due to its formidable presence, if you want to fly in and out of South Korea and other parts of Asia, chances are you'll fly with Korean Air. One good thing about Korean Air is it has a good score for customer service with 80%, but it is only on time 60% of the time. Coming in at number 3, we have Kuwait Airways. Kuwait Airways is the national carrier of Kuwait with its head office on the grounds of Kuwait International Airport. It operates scheduled international services throughout the Middle East to the Indian subcontinent Europe, Southeast Asia, and North America. It was founded in 1953 as Kuwait National Airways. It commenced operations March 16, 1954. It has a fleet size of 30 aircrafts and 43 destinations across the world. The main reason for Kuwait being such a low rating on this list is the on-time performance of 40%. It does have a quality service of 75%, but the airline has struggled in the recent years, including a major event of the controversy over its decision to bar an Israeli woman for flying because of her nationality. Among customers, complaints range from the staff being unprofessional and unhelpful to the planes being dirty and disgusting and in need of update. Coming in at number 2, we have EasyJet. I can imagine most of you watching this video have heard about EasyJet and how completely terrible it is. EasyJet is the United Kingdom's budget airline and is also one of the worst airlines in the world, thanks primarily to the airline's awful customer service. The airline flies to 132 airports in 31 different countries, making it a popular choice for cheap, short-haul flights. But EasyJet is a fairly young company, with just 20 years under its belt. And as the saying goes, you get what you pay for. If you're looking for the cheapest flights and nothing else matters, you might be satisfied with the ridiculous, inexpensive EasyJet, despite its low score. It has an on-time performance of 67%. Coming in at number one for the worst airline in the entire world is Thomas Cook Airlines. Thomas Cook Airlines has an on-time performance of 56% and a quality service of 76%. Until the fall of 2019, this United Kingdom-based airline offered flights to more than 60 destinations in the United States, Cuba, Canary Islands, and elsewhere offering cheap fares and packages. Angry passengers were a common occurrence on this airline, making the airline appear dead last on this list, even before the company collapsed in 2019. Not only did online reviews produce phrases like 10 hours of agony, 
airline I'll never fly again, the worst airline I've ever flown, the company's sudden shutdown after 178 years in business left thousands upon thousands of passengers stranded in foreign countries without any warning or assistance. I hope you guys did enjoy the top 10 worst airlines in the entire world. Despite hearing about these terrible airlines, air travel is still the preferred way to travel and one of the most efficient ways to travel in the world. I hope you guys did enjoy the video and I hope to see you in the next one. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoy and make sure to leave any comments of concerns or questions you have for me and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching and have a good rest of your day slash night. Goodbye.